Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be the next video on how our baseball teams that made it made the playoffs. This one's going to be on the Chicago White Sox. If you enjoyed the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. At the end of the video, you can subscribe on the subscribe widget to make it easier for you. We really appreciate your support. Let's get right into it. The White Sox are 89 and 68. They clinched their division. A little bit helped out by the fact that um, the second place Cleveland Indians were not the, anything close to the Indians of all this year. They were not a very competitive team when it came to the division. The White Sox, though, were a very good team. The thing is, with the White Sox, obviously, they were on pace to be where the Dodgers and um, Giants are right now in the NL over 100 wins if they kept going at the pace they started the year. They fizzled off, though, and started really struggling on the road and are actually a game under 500 on the road right now at 40 and 41. So, obviously, that's going to be interesting to see and follow going into the playoffs. And they're 49 and 27 and kill it at home. So that's something that's going to be interesting for them. But the thing with the White Sox, though, that I like about them going into the playoffs is, one, you got the RBI machine. He's at 113 RBIs this season in Jose Abreu. He's a guy, if you just want a guy that's an RBI machine, you know he's going to drive in runs whenever you put guys on bases. That is Jose Abreu. Tim Anderson's over 300, I believe, at 303 this year. Just a great overall hitter. He's just going to hit it where it's pitched and not overcomplicate things. He, of course, had that great walk-off home run. That's very memorable in the Field of Dreams game that people are not going to forget that are huge baseball fans of myself for years to come. It's the first Field of Dreams game of who knows how many. And Tim Anderson hit the walk-off home run on bomb and opposite field bomb again, going with the pitch. So he's one of the best guys to have. Keiko was able to snag the W in the recent makeup game. Keiko has not been as good statistically this year as a five-something ERA. But the big thing is he's a veteran, has been in the playoffs before. And as athletes have said before, we've heard them say, the playoffs is a different animal. Once the playoffs starts, the regular season stats get thrown out the window. So he, if he gets going in the playoffs and really starts stamping, even just pitching five and two-thirds, just solid, and then turning it to that bullpen that's really solid out there with the Kopex of the world, you obviously have a Garrett Crochet out there, he's absolutely disgusting. However you want to use Ronaldo Lopez, I understand he hasn't been as good in his last seven outings, but he's been good overall since coming back off of an injury. You have him, and then you, of course, have Craig Kimbrell, who, yes, he until recently didn't have a great outing in Chicago, but the adrenaline rush in the damn playoffs, you're going to have an adrenaline rush no matter what. It doesn't matter if you're closing or not. And then you have Hendricks, who's obviously one of the best closers, the Australian native, they're in the league along with Kimball. So you have two of the best closers. you got good veterans there in Chicago. You also have guys that stepped up like Jose Ruiz, who has pitched really well in over 50 games for them this season. You have Carlos Rodon, who's come off his injury and pitched amazing to a 2-4-7 ERA at 12-5. and So the White Sox, the only concern for me, for them, would be if their road woes continue in the playoffs. Because roster structure-wise, they just happen to somehow <clears throat> start off so hot and then just kind of falter a little bit. Yes, there was some injuries. Eloy Jimenez, of course, hasn't played that many games this year, but has played well in the handful of games he's played. Luis Robert is still an absolute uh, beast, but also hasn't played as many games as he would have liked. But you have these guys for the postseason, and you're going to be able to go forth and really have a very good postseason. You have guys that are also very good defensively if you want to substitute them in later in the game. If you, say, get to the World Series and start playing NL teams, or you have to put the Eloys in, you have to put guys in the outfield. you got the Billy Hamiltons that you have on your roster, the Adam Engels of the world, that are just great defensive players. Engel now, of course, this season was able to show more hitting prowess um, in the limited amount of playing time he had in the 250s and kind of build off of that. But Hamilton is definitely the pinch runner and defensive cat. So you kind of have everything there. Then you have the Gavin Sheets and the Andrew Vons of the world, the young kids that bring the energy that have also shown great developing status that are not even close to their primes yet, but have played very solid this year. I think this team, as long as their road woes, they can kind of, like we said, put everything behind them and just say, this is the playoffs, this is the damn playoffs, this is a new thing, the regular season, especially for guys that struggled a bit like the Keuchels of the world. Uh, those, those stats are thrown out. This is a new ball game now. Let's get it and let's go. This team has any ch better, as good of a chance, excuse me, as anybody in the AL, in my opinion, roster-wise, to get to the World Series. But that's that's just my own opinion. I think they're going to have a good chance to have success. Like They, they have a 
70% success rate in the playoffs where it would be disappointing if they don't at least advance past one playoff round. That would be pretty bad, I think, roster structure-wise. Yes, I understand they struggled in the second half of the season compared to how hot they were in the first half, but if you look at this team, the, the playoffs is a different animal. They're going to have guys. They also have Dylan Cease, who's, of course, a, just a good, just throws the ball, doesn't overcomplicate things, like fourth or fifth starter. They, of course, have Lucas Giolito, who's a beast, Lance Lynn in the rotation to close out the video. So you got a good rotation, you got a solid bullpen, and then some really great five guys in that bullpen. And then you got a great lineup now that everyone, the main cats, are really healthy. So I think that's going to be very helpful. They, of course, brought in guys that kind of were the puzzle piece finishers this season after injuries like the Cesar Hernandez's of the world. So you have a good roster. I think this team, they got to at least go past one round and show something in the playoffs because they should have that 70% success rate if you just look at their team and you look at veterans. And I think Dallas Keuchel, for example, is one veteran, will be a guy that turns it around. He had a good game the other day in the makeup game. That should be a good sign to success in the playoffs. And I think he's going to turn it around and actually have a good play. So that's been the video on the Chicago White Sox and how good they structured their roster in order to be a good playoff team. They kind of just had a struggling second half, but they also, they also kind of remind me of a roster that I think is better built for the playoffs, almost similar to in basketball, how the LA Lakers roster is just better built for the playoffs than it is the regular season. And they were able to kill it in the first half, so they didn't have to worry about their struggle bunnying in the second half. And then the Indians were not as good as they hoped, so that helped them as well. But I think this team is going to have pretty good success in the playoffs, and they have to win at least one series. Otherwise, I think that's a disappointing season for the White Sox and their fans. Have a great season, pleasant day, everybody. Enjoy the day. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You can hit the widget up there if you enjoy the content. Stay safe out there and enjoy the rest of the baseball for the regular season, and the playoffs are right around the corner. Peace out, everybody.